Thank you for attending tonight's public information meeting for the State Road 5, US 1 at Matanzas Woods Parkway Roundabout Design Project. Carol Hatfield is the Florida Department of Transportation Project Manager. Joseph Kiesel from Dewberry Engineers serves as the Consultant Project Manager. The purpose of tonight's public meeting is to share information about the proposed project and to provide time to answer questions from the community. This video will provide a brief overview of the project. You are encouraged to view the exhibits and to speak with project team members. The Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, is conducting this meeting in accordance with all state and federal regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act. Title VI requires that public participation be solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, or Jacqueline Paramore, FDOT State Title VI Coordinator, at the addresses shown here. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedures and in a courteous and prompt manner. The purpose of this project is to improve safety and operations at the intersection of US-1 and Matanzas Woods Parkway in Palm Coast, Flagler County. Safety can be improved by slowing traffic and removing left turn conflicts at the intersection. An additional goal of this project is to update pedestrian features. The FDOT analyzed traffic data and traffic volume projections and determined that additional controls are needed at this intersection. The department then reviewed various alternatives for the intersection. The FDOT considers the roundabout alternative for all intersection improvement projects in Central Florida. As this comparison shows, the roundabout option is the only alternative that will reduce the number and severity of crashes while still accommodating increased traffic flow. This diagram illustrates the difference in conflict points between a conventional four-legged intersection and an equivalent roundabout. The intersection at US-1 and Matanzas Woods Parkway is being designed as a four-legged intersection to accommodate new development. There are 32 conflict points associated with a conventional intersection, eight merging or joining, eight diverging or separating, and 16 crossing. In contrast, there are only eight total conflict points at an equivalent roundabout, four merging and four diverging. Eliminating the crossing conflicts with a roundabout can reduce the severity of crashes and number of serious injuries. Modern roundabout designs all have the ability to accommodate vehicles of all sizes, including cars, buses, and large trucks. They keep traffic moving, accommodate multiple lanes of traffic, safely control traffic movement through the roundabout, and reduce speed at the intersection. This is an aerial view of what the intersection would look like with the roundabout. The proposed roundabout maintains two lanes in each direction on US-1 and the current lane configuration on Matanzas Woods Parkway. Landscaping in the center of the roundabout and additional lighting are also part of this project. The FDOT will work with the City of Palm Coast on the landscaping and lighting plans. The project is designed to be constructed completely within existing right-of-way. This video illustrates the proper movements through the roundabout. It depicts traffic flow using the projected volumes for the year 2030. Vehicles will be warned to slow down to 25 miles per hour approaching the roundabout. As vehicles approach the roundabout, they should yield to traffic already in the roundabout and safely merge when an opening occurs. Vehicles should enter the appropriate lane based on their desired destination. For example, Traffic taking the first or second exit can use the outside lane. Traffic taking the third exit or making a U-turn would use the inside lane. The design of the roundabout allows vehicles of all sizes to safely travel through. Pedestrians can cross at designated crosswalks. The roundabout provides refuge areas so pedestrians can safely cross one section at a time. Bicyclists have the option of traveling with traffic or exiting their bicycle and using the pedestrian crosswalks.
The design project began in November 2017. This public meeting is being held in conjunction with the completion of Phase 2 plans. This means the initial design is complete, but the plans are not final. The project team will take into consideration public feedback in preparing the final plans over the next several months. The plans are scheduled to be completed in February 2019, and construction would likely start in the summer of 2019. The estimated construction cost is $2.2 million. Your input is a very important part of this process, and there are a few different ways you can participate. One way is to complete the comment form you received as you came into the meeting. You may complete the form during the meeting and place it in the comment box, or you may take the form home and mail it back to FDOT Project Manager Carol Hatfield at the address shown on the form. Finally, you may provide comments by email. All comments received by Monday, August 20, 2018 will become part of the public record. Written responses will be provided to written comments received. We encourage you to learn more about this project and to follow its progress by going to the FDOT Central Florida website, www.cflroads.com. The website contains links to easily access online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule, contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. To reach the project webpage, use the search bar on the home page and type in the project number 437-595-1 as it is shown on the screen. You will then be directed to the project page. You may also locate the project by going to the Future Projects tab and clicking on Flagler County. If you have additional questions or would like more information, please contact one of the project team leaders. Carol Hatfield is the FDOT project manager and Joseph Kiesel is the consultant project manager. As we conclude this presentation, we invite you to watch a video of one of the roundabouts recently built in Central Florida. This video was taken by a drone of the roundabout located on State Road 44 west of DeLand. While this is not a multi-lane roundabout, it is a good example to show how cars and trucks move through the intersection. Vehicles on all legs yield to traffic already in the roundabout, and the red apron in the center of the roundabout is designed to provide trucks extra space if needed. Yeah. 